Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, very, strategy. Very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate. Five familiar and fresh advocates. Certainly, five fresh and topical issues, so prepare to be challenged. Today, Saidu may seem a tad morbid, but it's all in a good course. He'll be preparing us for death. Uche isn't ready to go down without a fight. She'll be tackling our oppressive bank charges and enlisting crusaders in her course. Are you in? Paula Hon, a fresh face on the program, but a seasoned advocate nonetheless. He will be laying things bare and provoking us on a certain matter of independence. Ekene is all about getting us to own up to our crimes with her advocacy guilty as charged. I am certainly guilty of indulging a pet topic. We'll be talking governance and dysfunctionality. That's the size of the package. We're all set to unpack things for you after the break. Why do we act as though events that require planning and investment will happen by accident? So, I'm talking salary scandal. We can complain all we want. Nothing will change until we visit the subject of payments, conditions of service, and bonuses for political office holders, starting with the president. We continue to complain about massive kickbacks that inflate infrastructural project costs. These undocumented sums go to the same politicians whose conditions of service are way out of this world. So most of the damage stems from the actions of a small select group of citizens. The judiciary appears to be entrenched in this system of cash shares, so that if we took this matter to court, we would probably get nowhere. As I watch the Supreme Court of the UK hear the matter of the prorogation of Parliament by Boris Johnson, I was impressed with the proceedings in a manner that I wasn't when I watched the Nigerian Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. No one was in doubt that at this level, Buhari would be returned, even though he appears to have neither a certificate nor did he see it fit to file whatever he had when he applied for the job. So the sheer cost of state houses alone is scandalous, as so rock is way beyond what we require when there are Nigerians without a roof over their heads. The cost of cars for government will shock many. All this for chaps and ladies who govern a wretched nation. Still, we have to work within the law. If there are enough persons who feel prepared to move against the remuneration of politicians, I'm ready. I do not have the money, but can chip in. We must start there. If we need to go to an international court, let's go. It's one fight at a time. Yeah, nice one, Chuka. You know, I've been, I think we really must have this conversation. We have it in, in private, but for some reason, we never take it out there. I don't know why, as, you know, citizens of this country, we have not protested about this. We protest about uh, subsidy, all manner of things, but this we really ought to protest about. And secondly, I, you know, we need to look at why our politicians are, like, treated as full-time um, employees when most of the time they're not even around they're not they, they don't spend that much time in Parliament doing much else you know before you know it they'll soon go on recess and meanwhile they're collecting copious amounts of money um, I know a guy who well two actually that are in the House of Reps and you'll be a uh, I'll tell you what they earn because they've told me I'm just not going to release their names okay. but they take home at least 10 million naira every month. That's just 
the, then they have other bonuses and other things, housing allowance and clothing and you name it mm. on top of that. So ultimately, I'm pretty sure it probably amasses, comes close to about 20M. Yeah. You know, I mean, it is crazy. And these men, what do you do? They don't do very much else. So I think it's about time we go out there. Chooks, I'm with you. You know, let's, let's go out there. Let's yeah. protest about this because it's only when we, we do this, you know, that can something happen in America. They earn 174, a, sen a senator earns $174,000. Compare that to, with what somebody's earning over here. Yeah, actually, the figures I found, you know, yes. I was, I was, when I was looking up this topic, yes. I think the uh, president of America earns $450,000. Mm -hmm. yes. That's everything inclusive. Right. Yes. Everything. Whereas yes. our, our, our senators here earn four hundred fifty as their yes. padding. Pa pa yes. Yeah, it's yes. not actually their main salary. Exactly. Even though the main salary is significantly less, less to, to than, yes. somehow how pull the wool over your mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. But the other surrounding costs, like you say, clothing and yes. so on, come to 450. Yeah. So you, we're competing with the, the president. The president of, of, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, no, but I, I think um, we really need to look at this thing carefully. Um, what they're earning is a result of what the law allows them to yeah. earn. Yeah. Yeah. You know, separation of power, the legislative arm, yes. they with uh, in conjunction with the revenue, mm. uh, I think the yes. guys have fixed the salaries. Mm -hmm. You know, so they, they, what they've done is not illegal. They pay themselves. So if we're going to change anything, yes. the uh, that's why he advocacy said the has to not... come from them. Yes. They need to sit down and yes. revisit Renumerations for yeah. themselves. Yeah, but Shem you know. Sani from amongst them brought it up at least. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, he's not even the only one. That. Jibril, um, remember that, um, what's his name? The, the one that uh, he, he was a whistleblower. And when he mm -hmm. blew the whistle on. Um, well, that's the padding. Yeah. When he spoke oh, that's yes, when they were padding. Yeah, and he blew the whistle on that. And what did they do? They suspended him. They, yes. they, they did all manner exactly. of things. You know, exactly. I don't, it's not, the change isn't going to come from them. Yeah. We have to put pressure on them of course. to force that change. I, I, I agree. Yeah. Right. Mm. Don't uh, forget, those are people that have invested heavily to get there. So that's right. another wait, area wait, wait, we, need no, to we, we need to be that, 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 that is But, but Seydou, it, politicians because make losses, if, if that is if, in if business want, terms. If you, if you don't want to pay them that much, then yes. you make the system of entry Easy, exactly. by rare, without making it so expensive. Mm -hmm. You buy forms, five million naira. Imagine. You have to campaign around all the countries. You'd invest so much. Definitely, they want to recover their money. So if we need to address this thing carefully, we need to go back to the entry yes. uh, requirements. Make sure that these things are public. I, I, public. Sorry, I just want I, to. I, 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 I think no, I do agree. Looking with at you. it from an investment perspective, right. it's not the right way. It's meant to exactly. be a service, exactly. a public service, not an investment. Exactly. exactly. Then legality will not address it. It's a morality issue mm. now. Um, when I live in a country with this level of poverty, how do I feel mm -hmm. going on with the sizes of those salaries that we're talking about? Mm. Don't also forget that this is a borrowed. Uh, uh, system of government. Right. And that's why it was really apt to go back to the United States and, and look at what the president earns. Mm -hmm. that, apart from the fact that the president of the United States pays for meals. Yes. Right. So right. it's not unlike here where you have a whole budget for mm. this and budget, budget for this, yeah. budget for that. Yeah. The, and the furniture, can you imagine? It's, it's, it's unimaginable. If you're, if you're around any of those politicians, honestly, um, the level of um, uh, the people around them, okay, their I, expenses I've heard this monthly, well. it's huge. Yeah, they're, they're running their own mini welfare their own cost, system. Mini welfare that's, system. That's why Dino Melaya is so popular it's, because it's, it's, he, he it's throws out their bags of rice. But it's still tokenism. Yes. What are you giving to these guys? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not making Does any it change their life? difference. It doesn't. Yeah, change it doesn't. Their life. They still yes. remain poor, but you throw out some crumbs. Mm. Yeah. I really, I, I have to say, I, I sympathize with what yeah, you say to some extent. Let's be realistic. You know, these people, you're not going to return something. Yeah, but then I then understand where Chuka is coming from because you really have to say, look, this thing is not going to go away by following the normal means. They will not let go of this thing easily. Because look at in the middle of where we are now and they're still pushing for $50 million of jeeps for Imagine themselves. That. And even though, I'm sure if you said to them what happens to the jeeps of the last they four years, they'll laugh at you because yeah. they know that the previous senators They've have driven this. away with it. So <laughs> to me, we want the one that's coming to us. So something needs to change. But I, I do agree that we need to start protesting yes, about we it. Have to. They need to hear that we are revolted by this level of, do you say, greed yes. and insensitivity towards our plight. You can't be looking Why is it, though, that we don't, because we hear about it, we talk about it, we even tweet about it, and then nothing. Nobody knows on the road. I mean, why, why, 
is it that we've reached that point, just like you said, you know, like um, you mentioned about how we knew what the outcome of the electoral uh, tribunal Before, was going to yeah. be. Before. Nobody even ever thought that Atiku was coming, <laughs> even though they tried to make us believe he was coming. No, it's uh, the truth. No, I mean, uh, you may. Yeah, okay, but let me, I, 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 <laughs> let me land. I, I, so I I'm just trying to say that is no, this, is this the same? Like, no, you please, yeah. you must come in. Mm. But what I'm trying to say is that is it the same reason why we don't protest against their salaries because we also know that they are the ones that Absolutely. will have to change the law. Are they going to want to change the law against That's themselves? Futile, uh, so is it a futile? Is it that we I feel just thought the revolution now for me I, I, included all those things. <laughs> yes. yes. So I, I'm taking I, it back to that. That was why I was happy to go out on the revolution now protest yes, yes, because I just okay. felt it was a whole gamut of, of everything that's going wrong. But I think say. this just takes us back to you know um, being very intentional. You know when we elect the people that represent us. If you want to have proper representation in the National Assembly, then make sure you put the right people there. People that would actually go there and change things. Make That's sure like we have influence. No, we do. Um, concerning this election we talked about, honestly, I, I've heard and I'm still reading about different. The outcome, right, is mm. it's a reflection of you know the, the case voting. they present yeah. the Those voting like yeah so now buhari is there the people have voted him in we like it or not he's going to be there for the next four years that's what exactly we how want. we felt yeah. yes and the election tribunal based on the evidence that was presented before it a decision was taken yeah. it's either he yeah, because i heard from a, a positive a clerk, and he seemed to be saying that they, Look, they, they, they didn't have a have strong case. Any different. It's, it's, the, the case yes. is just so difficult. We, we should not keep going round, you know, not be sentimental about these things. If the evidences are not there, I mean, that's it. Uh, well, I, 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 I think I would I will like to okay. leave us with something to think, think about along mm -hmm. that same line. Obama, as a senator from the state of Illinois, was still a lecturer at the same time. Mm -hmm. In fact, when he became a senator, he took up more hours lecturing and at the same time making laws. There was a particular month he presented 16 bills. There you go. I'll, I'll let it. I'll let <laughs> yeah. It. yeah. But <laughs> we pretty much said it. Um, a functional nation is not a random event. We have to invest in it. Said so is certainly factoring in planning and foresight in his advocacy after the break.